Hey, how are you? So yesterday I modified the work table out on my welding pad to be more like a shed, really. It's gonna hold my arc welder or store my arc welder there, and hopefully I'll start to do a lot more welding. And I took some video of that, so the next step is to clean this corner out and dig my welder out from all the stuff that's in there. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna run the video that I took yesterday, and by the time it finishes, this corner should be nice and clean and we can put the welder in the table, plug it in and do a little welding. But I wanted to talk about this week's auction. Uh, this is, I'm having a lot of fun with these eBay auctions and I'm really getting a lot of, uh, a great response to that, so thank you. Uh, this is a painting of my sliding bevel square and it's framed in a Sapili frame. And this is a painting of a magnolia bud and a daffodil. And this is framed in a cherry frame that I made here on one of the videos with walnut splines and often I paint on uh, birch plywood just because I have cutoffs hanging around all the time and it's a nice surface to work on furniture grade birch plywood and I also keep notes on a lot of scrap pieces of plywood and this one happens to have the drawing for a mirror that I made or a frame for a mirror that I made a, maybe a year or two ago and I'll put a link on the screen if you want to check that video out so that's just one of those things I didn't even realize it I just looked at the back and there was the drawing so uh, if you want to check out these auctions, I'll put links in the description. Let's go ahead and get to work. Okay, so it really fits pretty good. Uh, I've got a lot of extra space, as you can see. 
I'll probably build some shelves in there. And I also built doors on the other side of the cabinet. We'll bring the camera around and take a look. And the reason for that is to be able to get the, the wires out. And I've got a big extension cord to plug this welder in. And all of that stuff will be stored in the cabinet. So when I'm using the welder, I'll probably have at least uh, one set of doors open. What I'll probably do is maybe put some kind of a divider here because there is a lot of space and I can put grinders and, and things like that. And let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. Well, that worked out really pretty good. I was really happy that the welder worked. I haven't used that welder in so long and it's had so much dust on it, I was afraid it, it might not work. But uh, it works good and I, it's going to be great to have a place to weld now. And the next thing I need to do is get oxygen and acetylene tanks. And once I do, I'll make a cabinet, an outdoor cabinet for the tank. So that should be sometime in the next maybe two or three weeks. I'm not going to finish the organizational part of this project today. I'm going to uh, work on that over the week and I'm probably going to take everything that's outside and kind of go through it and get rid of what, whatever I'm not going to use and just put it on my table for tonight and then just work on it over the weekend. Uh, if you have any questions on the table project, just leave them in the comments and maybe we can take a quick look at it again on Tuesday and also see how this organizational project came out. If this is the first time that you've tuned into my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and also check out my weekly eBay auctions and my eBay store. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.